हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू लेसन लीनियर इक्वेशंस इन टू वेरिएबल्स बिफोर टू स्टार्ट दिस लेसन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू रिवाइज सम टॉपिक्स व्हाट वी हैव लर्न इन द प्रीवियस स्टैंडर्ड्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी रिवाइज इट first is what is an equation or equation means what equation means a mathematical statement which shows the equality a mathematical statement which shows the equality called an equation next is to solve an equation means what to solve an equation means to find out the value of the variable which is given in that equation next is what is solution the value which we find out of the variable that is called the solution or in other words the value which satisfies the equation called the solution in the previous standards that means in the 6th 7th 8th we have seen the equations in one variable linear equations in one variable linear equations in one variable first of all we see the meaning of the word linear linear means if we draw the graph of that equation on the graph paper we get a straight line so that its name is linear linear equations in one variable now one variable means in that equation only one variable is used or one type of variable is used linear means we get a straight line so that its name is linear one variable means only one type of variable is used in the equation and such type of equations we have solved in 6th 7th and 8th i have written here let's recall and these are the examples from the 6th 7th and 8th here the question is written solve the following equations and this is the linear equation in one variable uh, identification of the linear equation is very easy if the power of the variable is 1 the power of m is 1 here that's why it is linear if the power of every variable which is used in that equation it is 1 power means index is 1 of the variable then it is called as the linear equation now how to solve this what are the general rules for solving the equations we collect the variable terms to the left side and the numerals to the right side m is already to the left side but numeral 3 is to the left transpose this 3 to the right side it is uh, actually it is plus 3 when we transpose this term to the right side it becomes negative 5 minus 3 means 2 so that m is equal to 2 and it is the answer and we call it as the solution of the equation now next is 3y plus 8 is equal to 22 the variable term 3y is already to the left this 3y is already to the left transpose this plus 8 numeral to the right side it becomes negative here when we transpose the term which is positive to the left transpose to the right side it becomes negative 22 minus 8 3y is equal to 14 we have to find out the value of single variable so that transpose this 3 now in between 3 and y in between 3 and y there is multiplication sign that means 
थ्री इज इन मल्टीप्लीकेशन विथ वाई ट्रांसपोज दिस थ्री टू द राइट साइड इट बिकम्स इन डिविजन वाई इज इक्वल टू फोर्टीन अपॉन थ्री फोर्टीन इज नॉट द मल्टीपल ऑफ थ्री दैट्स वाई राइट ऑन एज इट इज इन द फ्रैक्शनल फॉर्म दैट मीन्स द आंसर इज इन द फ्रैक्शनल फॉर्म इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी टू फाइंड आउट द आंसर इन द डेसिमल फॉर्म वाई इज इक्वल टू फोर्टीन अपॉन थ्री इज द आंसर और वी से इट एज द सोल्यूशन ऑफ द इक्वेशन थर्ड एक्स अपॉन थ्री इज इक्वल टू टू नाउ ट्रांसपोज इज थ्री विच इज दिस इज द न्यूमरल वी कीप द वेरिएबल टू द लेफ्ट एंड वी ट्रांसपोज द ऑल न्यूमरल टू द राइट दैट्स वाई ट्रांसपोज दिस थ्री टू द राइट साइड टू इन टू थ्री दिस इज इन डिविजन इफ वी ट्रांसपोज दिस इट बिकम्स इन मल्टीप्लीकेशन दैट्स वाई आई हैव रिटर्न हियर टू द नेक्स्ट स्टेप एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू इन टू थ्री एक्स इज इक्वल टू सिक्स it is the answer or we say it as the solution next example 2p is equal to p plus 4 upon 9 first of all collect the variable terms to the left this 2p is from the left i have written as it is now i am transposing this p which is to the right this plus p transpose to this left side it becomes negative 2p minus p is equal to 4 upon 9 2p minus p means p is equal to 4 upon 9 and it is the answer and it is the solution now see the next example uh, here is the word example in words it is given which number should be added to 5 to obtain 14 which number should be added to 5 to obtain 14 i don't know which is that number i am converting this statement in the equation then how to convert i don't know what is that number in place of that i have written here the block i don't know what is the number i have to write down here in that number that means what should be added okay this what should be added to 5 to get 14 i have now i am converting this statement in the equality in place of that i am considering as x what means i don't know i am considering it as x to the next step i have converted this statement in the equation which is unknown that i have considered as x x plus 5 is equal to 14 transpose this plus 5 to the right side it becomes negative x is equal to 14 minus 5 x is, to the next step x is equal to 9 and it is the answer that means 9 should be added to 5 to obtain 14 actually it is the answer and it is the solution that means if a statement is there then how to convert it in the equation and how to find out the value and or how to find out the solution next is which number should be subtracted from 8 to obtain 2 same like the previous just operation is different here 8 minus i don't know what is that number so that i am i have written here the box in place of that equal to 2 in place of that i am considering as y now i am using the variable you can use any type of variable a b c d x y z anything I don't know which number should be subtracted from the eight. Eight first of all, I consider that number as y. Eight minus y is equal to two. I have converted the statement in the equality to the next step. Now, use our rules. Transpose this plus eight to the right side. It becomes negative. Minus y is equal to two minus eight. Minus y write down as it is. Two minus eight means minus six. Minus y is equal to minus six minus minus get cancel from both the sides, and what remains y is equal to six, and it is the answer. We call it as the solution. All these equations are linear equations in one variable. In all the in all these equations, only one type of variable is used here. 
now from the next period uh, we are learning about the linear equations in two variables 